Happy New Year from Mr. Top Step and the land of the S&P 500. You know, the S&P last night, incredible. At 3 o'clock in the morning, the S&P was up 750, 750, seven and a half handles. And then when we got down to the floor, the S&P opened 10 handles. It closed at 53 even, and it opened at 63.20, and it rallied up all the way to 71 even, 72 even. It is an absolute buy fest down there. And the thing is that, you know what, as we went into the end of the year, we suspected that there could be a little selling, and then the stats were a little negative today. But remember, we had a hedge fund guy that we came out last week that said that he didn't think that they would sell him, and he thought that they'd buy him right into the beginning of the year. And they have done just that. And it's been quite a per performance that the S&P has put on today. You know, not very often do you get a 10-handle uh, gap up open, and then you rally another 10 handles. Usually you'll get a 10-handle gap up open, and then you'll get a little back and forth, and then maybe up a little higher, and then a little sell-off, and then a regroup. But this has just been one big straight buy program. The premiums have been out, widened out all day long, and the higher we go, every time we hit a set of buy stops, the premiums wide out and in comes the program. The other thing is UBS bought 2,000 big S&Ps after the open. Bobby Galt, an order filler in the S&P pit, and another guy, uh, I forgot his name, two guys both bought 1,000 each. And then when we got above 70 even, both Bobby Galt and the other brokers started selling 45 lots on scales for UBS, and then they pulled the scale, and that was when we popped up and made that high. You know what, as we go into the new year, it really feels like the PPT has been holding this thing together right into the end of the year, and we think they're going to hold them right together right into the beginning of the year. But we also have a concern, and that's what the market up so much. You've got to be careful here. You know what, there's a tendency for the S&P to rally into the middle of the month, well, there's always a tendency in the beginning of a new month or a new year, a new quarter, to get like two or three days worth or four days worth of buying. That's a pit bull rule. But there's also a tendency in January for the markets to kind of stay firm until the middle of the month. And then later into the end of the month, going into end of January and February, and February is not a good month, is when we kind of think that we're going to get some type of pullback slash correction. We don't think it can keep going like this forever. It can't. Even though there's a lot of money floating around in the global banking system right now, it, it, it just can't keep going up like this. So our, our motto is let it keep doing what it's doing. You know, continue to buy the brakes, back and fill when you see the market back and filling, but also keep in the back of your mind that at some point in here, this choo-choo train's going to come to a stop. And when it does, all this kind of funny, easy money that's being made on the upside is going to come to a quick halt. And we want to make sure people aren't caught into that because there is going to be a correction. And when the market sells off, we don't want people stuck long. We're going to be back with all sorts of good new stuff coming up in January, and we're going to be making announcements. And we want you guys to be part of it. We'll see you tomorrow.